hello and welcome to this week's deal space uh, to take us through the deals announcement through this week we have with us our reporters uh, to start with uh, aditya birla group ha- is looking to exit from its investment in uh, living media and has already appointed bankers for this uh, transaction to speak more on that we have with us pooja sarkar hi pooja uh, can you uh, run us through the details Hi Vivina so uh, Aditya Birla group had invested uh, had taken up around 27.5% stake in Living Media which is the holding company of TV Today group which is run by Mr Arun Puri so when the transaction had happened uh, over a year back they had bought it around 165 to 195 crore that's the kind of that's the range of the transaction and now the uh, bankers say that they're sitting on setting on profits of like doubling their profits and also a lot of bankers say that the reason they could be exiting this stake uh, would be because the focus on for which they invested in the company the company has moved on from that focus in the broadcast media space and thus they would like to exit this investment at this point in time uh, thank you pooja uh, the next company that was in news was jsw steel it uh, has agreed to uh, acquire wellspun max uh, steel to speak more on this uh, we have with us uh, malvika joshi uh, hi malvika can you uh, take us through the details uh definitely uh, so uh, early this week on monday uh, jsw um, announced that it is going to acquire uh, wellspun maxil which is a unit of wellspun enterprises uh it has come out as a very uh, nice deal for jsw and there are a lot of reasons for that first of all the overall enterprise valuation for uh, wellspun maxil is about 1000 odd crores but definitely uh, we hear that jsw is not paying so much because uh, the uh, wellspun maxil has got a debt of about 1087 crores so i think uh, the, uh, uh, they'll take over a uh, lot of debt jsw uh, steel guys and about 40 odd crores will be paid in terms of um, uh equity so de- uh, the cost of acquisition is kind of uh, less second is that uh in terms of logistics now uh, jsw steel is looking to consolidate its position as a leader uh, in steel making business so uh, uh, this will uh, really help uh the uh, jsw steel in ramping up its steel production capacity in dolvi which is uh, the uh, second largest uh, or you know one of the main uh, facilities uh, for jsw to manufacture steel uh, third thing is that wellspun max steel has got about 480 crores of uh, extra land vacant land which can be used for setting up plants or facilities for manufacturing value add products for which there is a lot of demand um beyond that uh, we believe that the cost of production for wellspun maxil as well will come down because uh, the uh, pellets that have been bought out will be replaced by the surplus pellets of uh, uh, jsw steel which it will obviously supply so yeah there are a whole lot of uh, you know uh, things that jsw steel is uh, planning to do apart from you know uh, uh, as we know that they have been in the news for bidding for an uh, italian manufacturing uh, firm lucini and uh, stem course assets in india so we certainly believe they are totally on an acquisition mode and it is important g- given the fact that setting up a greenfield project in india is a difficult proposition Thank you Malvika. Uh the next uh, company that was in news this week was Taxi for Sure. This is a Bangalore based company which has uh, raised third round of funding. To speak more on this we have with us Ashna. Uh, hi Ashna, can you uh, take us through the details? Hi Vivina, the taxi rental market in India is spec to be around 36000 crore and players like Meru Cabs, Ola Cabs, Taxi for Sure and Google Ventures backed Uber are looking to tap all the potential in this market. Ola Cabs recently raised to 50 crores in July and following this now Taxi for Sure has raised a series C round of funding from US based Axel Partners and existing investors. This funding round is estimated to be somewhere between 35 million to 50 million dollars. So what is interesting is to note how these companies are going to tweak their business models, payment solutions to clearly come out as market leaders. This week uh, Rehan Yar Khan the angel investor was also in news uh, for uh, because he launched uh, the 300 crore fund uh, can you run through the details of that fund too yeah so Rehan Yar Khan is an angel investor in companies like Dhruva Ola Cabs Pretty Secrets and a lot of other companies he has come out with his fund called Orias Venture Partners a 300 crore fund which has been raised only from domestic investors in in times where other people are finding it difficult to raise and close funds he's managed to successfully raise this fund 
द फंड इज लुकिंग टू इन्वेस्ट एनी वे बिटवीन फिफ्टी लैक्स टू ट्वेंटी फाइव करोर्स इन एट टू टेन टेक्नोलॉजी कंपनीज एंड सिड बी हैज़ बीन अ क्लियर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर टू दिस फंड हैज़ लुक एट इन्वेस्टिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव करोर इन दिस फंड एंड रिहार यार खान इज़ नॉट दी ओनली एंजल इन्वेस्टर हु हैज़ रेज सच अ फंड अनिल जोशी एक्स प्रेसिडेंट मुंबई एंजल्स इज ऑल्सो लुकिंग एट लॉन्चिंग हिज फिफ्टी मिलियन डॉलर फंड इन नवम्बर दिस ईयर uh thank you asna uh so that's all from us uh, in, in this uh, week's uh, deal space for more updates log on to livemen.com